As implants are becoming more and more a standard practice in our daily routine, uh, I think the old standards for evaluating the success of the implants don't apply anymore. In the old days, an implant was a success if it was osteointegrating. Today, that's not enough. We want to add more value to the implant besides become stable in the bone. So we want to mimic not the natural behavior, but the natural look of a natural dentition. And that's why the incorporation of materials like PIC that can mimic better uh, the behavior of a natural tooth will probably give us an advantage in the long time. The use of CAD CAM technology uh, allow us to use different types of materials. Materials not anymore made of metal, but made completely of ceramic or in some cases hybrids. And with those materials, we can substitute almost any uh, metal still in use today. So I think it will disappear completely in the next, in the few years to come. Dentistry has composite materials, hybrid materials, ceramic materials. Um, also for prosthetic reconstruction, we have now the possibility of using PIC. PIC compared with the other materials, uh, it looks weaker than it is, because uh, you can see that it is re resilient. It's not like titanium, that you cannot bend it. This one, you can bend it and he has memory. It comes to, to the, the initial form. But it's very nice because he acts like a bumper, like a shock absorber. If you use rigid materials, it means that the occlusal stress is going to be transmitted directly to the bone input interface. And that is not a positive thing on the long term. So you need to add something to absorb the occlusal stress. To answer that, we have to think about the function of the periodontal ligament in natural teeth. His function, among others, is of support in terms of protecting the tooth from occlusal load. That shock absorbing system can also protect the bone implant interface from excessive occlusal load. In this way, it mimics the supportive function of the periodontal ligament. Implants are much more rigid than natural teeth. so. When we want to reproduce the function, we have to understand that there's some uh, flexibility that is necessary to add to our reconstruction. Now we have the technology to try to look at the natural tooth, understand how the natural tooth behaves uh, during function and also during parafunction and try to imitate that and to transport that behavior into uh, prosthetic rehabilitation. And here is more, much more important the rehabilitation over implants than rehabilitation over natural teeth because the implants, they, they make a huge difference in that mecha be mechanical uh, behavior. In the beginning, uh I thought it will not result because we have something soft inside of acrylic that is very rigid, but it turns to be at the contrary. It looks nice because it can absorb all the shock and impact from the investigation. The technical protocol for the all in four with the peak from Juvora is very similar for the regular all in four. The only difference is the material is, is different, so we need to take care of some different issues. Uh, the first one is the, the design. It must be different because we need to attend to finish lines. Uh, the second one is the, the way we finish the pick. We take, need to take care to protect the, the pick. We need to put protection caps. After that is the, the bonding. The bonding is very important because it's what will unify two different uh, products. You can use a chemical bond or a mechanical bonding. Uh, after that, it becomes regular, like the, the all 4 technique. You just wax it 
uh, prepared to polymerize it and the steps for the polymerization is exactly the same uh, as we do for the, the other tip of all and force because it's acrylic. The only thing different is what is inside. The major threat for long-term success is peri pathology, which is basically a multifactorial situation caused by interventions from both the biological and the biomechanical aspects. If you introduce a shock absorbing system to this equation, it means that you will be at least preventing the disease incidence from the biomechanical aspect. So in that case, you will be increasing the probability of success. To directly quote the results of our study about the all four rehabilitations with peak infrastructures. When we asked the patients to evaluate their overall chewing feeling and their in-mouth uh, comfort, they, on average, evaluated with a 90% satisfaction rate. So this means that it makes a big difference to the patient. Moreover, if you compare these results with the other references from the implant uh, literature evaluating the same parameters, our results will compare favorably.